As you guys know, there are two main categories of skirts inside of Raw High. Those that are still on sale and those that are considered legacy and no longer available to purchase within the game. Every year, Barbie makes various older skirts go legacy as well as other items in the game. And I think that we are very close to another set of skirts going legacy and the future of the trading community and the values in the game changing rapidly once again. Hello wonderful little beans, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more daily Raw High videos. And of course, don't forget to use Stacker B when buying Robux or Premium. So little beans, as you guys already know, we've had various skirts in Raw High Girl Legacy over the last few years. For example, there are lots of skirts like the Magical Enchantress, of course the beautiful different velvet skirts, and the Secret Fairy on Earth skirts, as well as some others that have all gone Legacy, meaning they are no longer purchasable. But lots of these skirts have actually not been reworked after going legacy. Some of them however have and those that have ended up changing their value and placement inside the game entirely completely creating a whole new age for the skirt's life in the game despite no longer being purchasable. That's right you guys and I think you need to be warned about this just in case something might change especially since other YouTubers have been reporting on this like hey I've seen some videos from others as well talking specifically about the future of legacy items. As you guys know, if you head on into the shop and go to the legacy section, a lot of these skirts have something in common. They usually have this wire mesh design on their render in game. That is the Secret Fairy on Earth, the Ruffle Velvet Burr mini skirt, and the Velvet Burr Royal mini skirt because they came out around the same time. Of course, we have the free glowing beach skirt, which was obviously a joke and only released for April Fool's Day. The Midnight Mademoiselle, which is obtainable only by completing a game pass purchase of the designer pass and then the large train burst skirt and the magic enchantress both by salty sheer which have both had reworks in the past the large train burst skirt being a lot longer ago but are now worth a significantly higher value the original price of the magic enchantress was also removed because it was given as a prize for completing the goddess of triumph purchase or purchasing it years ago as well when it was still available so as you guys know some of the skirts that are still on sale have that old wire mesh render including the dragon train rose dress and the queen of the ocean the magical guardian of love and justice and the moonlight goddess ultimate floof skirt and of course then the legacy skirts that are already off sale so a lot of people have been wondering if we might see the moonlight goddess skirt and of course the magical guardian of love and justice the queen of the ocean and the dragon rose skirt go off sale very very soon it's worth noting you guys royal high moved significantly over the last few years away from individual skirts and shoe releases. You'll notice now that any skirt that comes out is normally a part of a set in some way and usually releases as part of some kind of group of items, meaning that most of these skirts that are currently on sale are now obsolete. As a result of Raw High's change in direction and items becoming legacy from the past, people are starting to wonder if more are going to go legacy soon too. As you guys know, there's currently no way to obtain older items from updates past, for example, if you go into the shop, which we'll go and have a look at right now, go over to the season section in the accessories section and click on Christmas, all of the items that are non-advent, that were won from presents or from decorating cookies for Santa, have all become legacy because they're no longer obtainable. In the previous Glitterfrost update, there was no way to obtain any items unless they were from the advents. And the only way to do that was either to get the new one each day from the advent or have luck for the previous years, making many of these items all good legacy. As a result of Raw High's choice to make so many things legacy, some people are wondering if that means some of these skirts are going to go legacy as well. And they could go down one of two directions if they do. As you guys know right now, the Moonlight Goddess Ultimate Floof skirt is one of the skirts available in games still purchasable, but of course is not legacy yet. As you can see in trading, it averages around 12,000 diamonds. Although some people have managed to complete recent trades for higher, most of the time these go for 
or quite cheap. But if it were to become legacy, that could change. It could go down one of two directions. It could go down the route of the secret fairy on Earthskirt, which has become practically worthless and worth very little in trading because it went off sale, but is not considered rare and the rework is not exciting enough to make people want to buy it. Or, on the flip side, it could end up going down the route of the Magical Enchantress. Once the Magical Enchantress was reworked, it was already legacy, so people were not able to purchase it anymore. And as you guys can see, it is now worth 86,000 diamonds on average. Recent trades include the steampunk bodices, the steampunk sets, over 80,000 diamonds, some people trading Goddess of Triumph pieces, some of these trades up to 100k. And when it was first reworked, the trades, as you can see, were worth an average of over 100,000 diamonds, somewhere up to 120,000 or more. These skirts become ridiculously worth more diamonds than they were when they first came out. This means that it's highly likely there's a very, very good chance that, again, if we were to release a reworked version inside of our high of any of the other skirts and they went legacy, that their values would shoot up ridiculously and people would have to obviously trade really high values for them. So while these skirts are really cheap, especially as Raw High is moving to make more things legacy lately in each update, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and obtain them before they go legacy. Because if you purchase them now and then they go legacy and then they are reworked, you could potentially have some skirts that are worth ridiculously high values, which you could then sell and make your inventory much richer very quickly. Obviously, with the Magic Enchantress skirt, people kept saying it wasn't going to be reworked because it was dragged out so much and everybody was like, this isn't going to happen, it's whatever. But eventually, it did end up getting a rework. And let's not forget that Solji Shia and other devs have hinted before about reworks for the large train burst skirt, reworks for the secret fairy on Earth, and some other legacy skirts already existing in the game. There are some skirts that are still on sale that have been hinted at too, so if they were to happen, you never know, you guys. Salty Shia announced the Magical Enchantress rework concepts that they were making over a year before it ever came out in the game. So there really is an opportunity here, you guys, for items to end up really high value that maybe aren't right now, and you could utilize that to your best ability to get filthy rich in the meantime. And I definitely suggest you guys take advantage of that before it changes. So whether or not you want to buy some of these poofy floofy skirts or buy some of these older ones, you never know you guys, these old skirts could end up being reworked like the Magical Enchantress and make a huge difference to your diamond inventories. So I highly suggest you consider buying a couple of them while they are still cheap. I mean in reality if you go shopping and go to the skirts section over here and then show the ones on sale, a lot of these modern skirts are really expensive but the older ones are so cheap. You can get some of these older ones you guys for literally barely anything. I mean this is cheap considering for a skirt but obviously slightly on the more expensive side compared to the others but you can go ahead and grab some of these for relatively cheap prices and they could end up being super expensive if they get reworked or even just go off sale because new players won't be able to buy them anymore so little beans let me know in the comments down below do you think it's likely they could go legacy i mean the pop star set is basically legacy now since the quest didn't come back all of the christmas items that were obtained from the non-advent stuff were obviously now legacy because they're not obtainable anymore there were other items that were legacy from previous updates it's clear to me that raw high is making a lot of stuff into legacy items so i definitely think you should be aware of this be prepared for the changes in the future thanks for watching the no beans i hope you all have a wonderful day i'd love to hear your opinions as always don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell and don't forget to check out b players and friends or b players minecraft if you want to check out my other content it would mean a lot to me i love you guys a lot links are all below and i'll see you soon goodbye